Bible stories and out into space and beyond. <laughs> it's been so much fun being Cosmo Kelly. Do you remember the time when... Our friend Stacy told us about what we would look like from space? It was just a small little dot on a piece of paper. You could barely see it. You just had to believe that it was there. And then there was that time when Mission Control Chip let us safely through a space dust storm. And then a space rock storm. And then there was the time we learned about how brave astronauts are. And how we can be brave too because the Holy Spirit is with us all the time. It's been so fun. So many stories. Whoa, I just thought of something. We have had these adventures together, but what about the friends that weren't here? How will they ever know about these adventures? Oh no, they just gotta know. Friends, we have to get the word out about all of this. But how? Hmm, maybe our Bible story will give us some ideas about how to share our adventures and stories. It's time for today's Bible story and it comes from the book of Acts chapter 8. Philip was one of Jesus' friends. One day, an angel told Philip to walk down a desert road that goes from a place called Jerusalem to a place called Gaza. As he walked around the town, he met an official from a place called Ethiopia. Being an official means that he worked for the leader of Ethiopia. The official was riding in a chariot and reading the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah from the Bible contains the word that God gave Isaiah a long time ago. The Holy Spirit, God's presence in us, told Philip to stay close to the chariot. When he did, he heard the man reading the book of Isaiah. Philip asked him, do you understand what you're reading? The man says he did it. He needed someone to explain it to him. He invited Philip to sit with him. The man was reading about someone who was treated unfairly. He was confused about whether Isaiah was talking about himself or someone else. So Philip explained that the person who was being treated unfairly was Jesus. Philip got to share the good news about Jesus being God's son and about Jesus dying to save us. It was a beautiful moment, but it didn't stop there. The official from Ethiopia saw some water up ahead. He wanted to get baptized. Being baptized is a way to show others that you believe in Jesus and want to live for him. Philip baptized the man. Then God sent Philip to tell someone else about Jesus. The official from Ethiopia continued on his way and was full of joy. Philip kept traveling around, telling more and more people about Jesus. When we believe in Jesus, we can't help but share Jesus with others too. So don't skip this step. Tell others about Jesus. That's it! We tell people! That's how we share these adventures. Especially the most important part of our adventures. Jesus! But wait, what if we get shy when we talk to others? Sometimes I do. Oh, I know! We can write it down! Like a poem, which is kind of like a song. Oh, we can write a song! Wait, what if we can't write? Oh, oh, I know! We can draw pictures that tell people about Jesus and our adventures. Then, when we explain the pictures, we will be telling others our story and about Jesus. Just like Phil in the story. I call him Phil. He seemed like a pretty cool guy. Okay, okay, here I go. There! Can you see it? It's the tiny little dot. This is what our friend said we might look like from space. But you just have to believe that it's there, because it's so small. I can show this to people and it will help me tell them about taking the first step, believing in Jesus. Okay, okay, this is fun. I'm going to go again. There! You might have guessed it. Those are space rocks. When I show this to people, I could tell them about Mission Control Chip praying for me while I was flying into a bunch of space rocks. And I was safe. Chip and I were just pretending to fly in space. But we did pray for each other for real. And we should pray for others for real. 
friends. Maybe you can use drawing to tell others about Jesus. Or maybe you can do something else. Whatever we decide to do. Don't skip this step. Tell others about Jesus. It's been so fun learning and growing with you all. Cosmo Cali signing and singing all for now. Peace out. <laughs> Hey Journey Kids! If you've been following recently, we've been talking about believing in Jesus, praying for others, and being brave thanks to the Holy Spirit. Today we have another important step, but we can't skip this step, and that's telling others about Jesus. Today I have a powerful Bible story from the book of Acts, chapter 8. It's about one of Jesus' disciples, Philip, and it goes to show just how important it is to tell others about the good news. Let's read. Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Go south to the road, the desert road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So Philip started out, and on his way he met a high-ranking Ethiopian official who was reading the book of Isaiah, but couldn't understand it. Do you understand what you are reading? Philip asked. How can I? he said, unless someone explains it to me. So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. The Ethiopian was reading Isaiah 53, 7, and 8. And he asked Philip, Tell me please, who is the prophet talking about, himself or someone else? Then Philip began with that very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water and the Ethiopian said, Look, here is water. What can stand in the way of my being baptized? And he gave orders to stop the chariot. And both Philip and the Ethiopian went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away, and the Ethiopian did not see him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Just a small encounter helped someone to see Jesus and ask him into his life. I mean, all it started was with Philip asking, do you understand what you're reading? This shows the importance of telling others about Jesus. And that's today's big idea. Don't skip this step. Tell others about Jesus. Let's say it all together, Journey Kids. Don't skip this step. Tell others about Jesus. See you next week. Psalm 19, 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands.